It's your boy Drill here, back with another video, and today, I got some other videos out there. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the fastest method on how to grind the Legends Festival Metal. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about this little method thing. Uh, there's actually something faster i believe than actually grinding the uh, raid because the raid the raid like the drop rate of it is to me in my opinion i think it's pretty low not gonna lie i've grinded pretty much i pretty much grinded everything from the raid and everything i'm gonna explain everything and all that good stuff so yeah i basically grinded almost all the exchange shop i mean not the exchange everything from the raid exchange shop and i wasn't really getting that much but with this new method i was getting i mean like the drop rate is way 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 better so if you guys don't like grinding the raid that much and you guys it takes a lot of time for you guys to grind everything in the raid to grab all the exchange shop items it takes a lot of stuff and you're not gonna grind you're not gonna be able to get up to 600 coins that quickly compared to this method so yeah without further ado before we get onto the video make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel roll to 12k subs at the end of this year make sure you guys like the video as well so if this video does help you guys out it will reach other people as well and it'll help me out and like i said it'll help other people in the community that will need this guy and make sure you guys turn on notifications and get notified whenever i drop a video live stream all that good stuff so yeah without further ado let's get on with it so <clears throat> i previously made a video talking about the legends festival guy i talked about like get up to 4,000 chrono crystals period of the legends festival uh, raid, not the Legends Festival guy. Legends Festival raid. Let me, I mean, look, if my phone can load up, I can explain everything. So, uh, oh, let me just retry it. Please, let me just load so I can just get on with the video. Okay, <clears throat> so like, I think two days ago, three days ago, I told you guys to grind this raid out because of the Legends Festival coin. And when you guys do a reward, you have a chance at getting the Legends Festival medal as a drop right but i didn't but like i said in that previous video i told you guys that i don't know how the drop rate is going to be it's going to be really frequent like it's going to have a high drop rate or a low drop rate so me playing the raid uh, i'm gonna show you guys my exchange shop i basically cleared i basically cleared the raid right like i just need to grind a few more to get the solar exchange stuff and then i can get the extra uh one billion zenny and i'll be basically done so i basically cleared the whole raid and when I cleared it, I didn't really get that much Legends Festival medals. I thought that by the time I cleared the raid, that I was going to be able to be like really close to achieving that 3K Chrono Crystal, um, you know, threshold, right? Like you guys go to the exchange shop right here. I think it cost 600 medals. So by the time I thought when I finished the raid, I thought I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to be, oh, this is the wrong one. I thought like by the time I finished the raid, I was going to be like really close to the 600 festival medals and i'm nowhere close nowhere close i was no close i think i was like around 200 like 15 something when i finished 200 something like around 200 so it wasn't really all that good so i actually found it another method for you guys so you guys can get it get the uh 600 medals quicker because it's throw 3000 chrono crystals and like i said not many people are going to be able to grind the raid like that so there is another method so basically the method is is first of all go to a character right <clears throat> and me personally build a like build a competitive team build a competitive team in a sense but add one character that is just absolutely trash add like if you have like a one level unit character or you or if you have everybody at level 5000 just put in a put in an ex unit so i mean not ex put in like a hero unit so for me i always put in the infamous cell junior on my team so depending on so i'm, I'm gonna explain why everything so the reason why you want to bring a competitive team because this is we're going to be going to training battle that's basically the, uh, the the thing is going to training battle so bring a competitive team because it will scare your opponents into thinking like oh he might bring in the top three right that's going to be thinking like they see beast gohan piccolo and future gohan and pan they're going to be thinking i'm bringing them right but you're technically just trying to fool them into bringing cell jr and then you bring cell jr or whoever you bring in and then hopefully your what's name kills them uh your opponent kills them quickly and then you can get the reward so i'm gonna show you guys right here this is the squad we're bringing so i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna basically just show you guys the um the method so i don't know if this is guaranteed or not but the drop rate is really 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 high and i feel like it's a lot more efficient because if the person does kill you quickly right that's the only thing that's that's kind of annoying about the method is sometimes when you go to a training battle and you're trying to lose on purpose 
even with like this is basically the same guy when like you're trying to grind in the equipment medals if you bring in one character sometimes players will just basically just not attack you for the whole game like literally will not attack you the whole game and then like you're just sitting there for 180 time accounts and it's pretty annoying but there are some players that just killed you quick and then they move on and then you can get your you can get your rewards and stuff what you're trying to grind for out the way so that's pretty much the only unknown factor that's kind of annoying when you're playing against trained about and you're trying to lose on purpose like for like this this rate i mean this uh this method right here or even grinding the equipment medals is like losing on purpose and then like someone like like this guy like just floats around the whole game so you guys are gonna run into that as well so hopefully this guy doesn't do that but if he does then it'll be pretty annoying so that's just basically how it is you can't really run from it for i mean the only thing you could do is just like forfeit but if you forfeit you won't be able to get the legends festival medals um they don't promote people forfeiting so let's see if this guy kills me yep so he just immediately kills me shout out to this guy kills me in two strikes i salute you bro just killing me and we just you know what i'm saying just just move on right just move on so i did lose this right this is a training battle and i believe right i lost this and you guys see there boom we got ourselves a legend festival medal so i could probably do this a few more times just to see just to show you guys that it is a high rank it is like highly efficient compared to grinding for the for the what's the name on the festival rate so yeah that's basically it um i don't know if it's guaranteed but every time i ran it i've basically got one but i posted this on twitter and some people in the comments as i said that it's not guaranteed but the, the like drop rate is very 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 high so let me know in the comment section if it's guaranteed for you guys or not because i think that it, um i think it is very it's a very high drop rate for sure so yeah um also do not forfeit do not forfeit when you do this because if you do forfeit you're not going to get no rewards they don't promote that you have to lose the battle you have to lose the battle or win the battle so um i think my what's the name is loading late so i probably just won't show you guys another one but that's basically the method that's basically the method here and i've been doing this all like ever since today and i've been getting a lot more festival medals than before so yeah that's it with this god hopefully this guy help you guys out let me know if it's a every time it's a guaranteed or not for you guys or is it just a really 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 high drop rate so i want you guys to be able to get the 3000 chrono crystals as fast as possible i know that they did this on purpose because they want they, this is the thing that prolongs throughout the whole throughout the whole um celebration legends festival and stuff and then you guys look at the exchange so they actually got some you know cool stuff Right, like you got Legends, Legends Z Power, and then you got our slot removers, and then Soul Exchange. Those are really the best things. And then you got some energy here. So just grinding those, if you really want to farm those as quickly as possible, this method should be way better than grinding the raid and everything. Especially if you don't feel like grinding everything in the raid. Uh, I feel like this method is way more efficient. You know what I'm saying? Like the drop rate is way higher and stuff. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Definitely feel like this is the better method to do than the festival raid. I thought the festival raid was going to be a lot better um, in terms of the drop rate, but it's not. So. Hopefully this guide help you guys out. Make sure you guys, you know, just lose on purpose. There is going to be some things like you have like the weird player that's not trying to kill you and stuff. And if they do wait the whole 80 time counts, just forfeit. Just forfeit and hop to the next match. It's not even worth waiting for them to, to stand there the whole game. Just forfeit that match. And 15 time accounts, if they don't if they don't kill you in 15 time accounts, then just move on. Just move on. Just forfeit and then move on. So, yeah, that's it with this guide. Hopefully this guide help you guys out. Like, comment, subscribe. We're real, man. I'm out.